Hi guys, how are you? Let me go over to my chat here. What's everybody doing tonight? People are starting to come in. Hey, Bet, how are you? How are you? <laughs> okay, let's see who's here. Hi, Gabby. Hi, my animal spirit. Hi, Catherine. Hi, happy elf. Oh, I'm so glad, Gabby. I'm glad that you're here. That's awesome that it's your first one. I hope this was a good night. My lighting looks super bright and I'm not quite sure why. Hmm. Okay, we're just gonna have to go with it. I wonder if this would help. Hi, Lola. Okay, that's a little bit better. Okay, let's see. Hi, Ginger. Hi, Janet. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Judy. Hi, Maria. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Angela. Hi, Karen from Michigan. Hi, Southern Bells. Thank you guys for coming in. Hi, Laura. Oh, you're welcome for the YouTube video. No problem. Hi, Rockstar. How are you? Hi, Alyssa. Hi, Kat. Hi, Tammy. Oh, Denise, thank you for the card with the ornament. My son immediately put the ornament on the tree. <laughs> so thank you for the Bruins ornament. That was so sweet. Hi, Karen. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Tammy. Yes, my Christmas is great. How about yours? It was quiet, which was nice. You saw my sports bra. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I know. It is, that, the light is bright. Okay. Yeah, you can't kind of see through this shirt. Oh, well, we're just going to go with it. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Um, hi, Lene. Hi, Margo. Oh, thanks, Bryn. I got my Christmas bedding last year from Bed Bath & Beyond, but it's still available. I didn't count the number of Christmas cards. Actually, a few have fallen off. I have two on the floor. I keep having to pick them up. And I have, um, I went to the post office yesterday and had another stack. Um, so I don't know how many I ended up with, but it was certainly a lot. And I loved every minute of it. Thank you to those of you that sent one. Hi, Natalie. I'm so glad you were able to make it to the live. I love newbies. I know, I know, Yvette. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, you guys, so this company reached out to me today and it was called, it said, we want to collab with you, or Yvette wants to collab with you. And if y'all know, my bestie is Yvette. She's here on the channel and she's a joker. And I thought it was like a fake email. Like I thought she was trying to like get me, but it was really a company called Yvette Sports. <laughs> And they have a lot of sports bras, and I was like, well, I'm not going to, like, model sports bra. Anyway, <laughs> it was funny. My holiday was good. How was yours? It was quiet. We had a really good time. My parents came in um, a few days before Christmas. They were just here for, like, 24 hours, and that was nice to see them. And we just had a, just a quiet, nice time. We've seen a couple of movies tomorrow night. We want to, well, there's a big debate in our family. The kids do not, <laughs> Lola, what are you doing? She sees something in the light. Anyway, um, some of us want to see Star Wars and some of us don't. So we'll see who ends up going. <laughs> Hi, Lori, how are you? Try to talk my husband into spring and summer bedding and looked at me like I'd lost my mind. <laughs> The only way that I got away with Christmas bedding last year is because I was like, honey, it's my filming space. It needs to be festive. He was like, okay. <laughs> Luckily, we've been married long enough. He just typically supports my whims. <laughs> you saw Star Wars. Yes, I, Emma, our, uh, Yvette saw Star Wars on her birthday on Christmas night. We went and saw the second Jumanji, which... Um, 
we were a little wary of because the first one was so good the second one was so good it's one of those times i feel like where the second one or the sequel is as good as the first so if you've seen the first jumanji i highly recommend the second one and then i went and saw that movie bombshell a couple of days ago i still am not sure how i feel about it it left me i don't know i i can't really describe it so i'm not really sure if i liked it or not <laughs> um I know the paws up. She's funny, isn't she? They say that's a sign that they trust you and they'll sleep that way. I don't know. <laughs> yes, I didn't go live last week. My family was home. It was kind of the first day of fall or winter break and they just wanted to, to hang out. So um, at the last minute I did cancel. Hi Janice, how are you? Oh, I want to see Little Women. I totally do want to see Little Women. I'm super excited for that one, so I'm glad to know that you like it. Emma said she didn't want to see it. Um, I just saw something. Rockstar, you get a chicken squeak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you see her? <laughs> Rotisserie says... <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. That's so kind of you. That was so fun. Oh, it's a kitty. It's a kitty sticker. Thank you so much. That was so funny. Um, let's see. Did Lola get catnip for Christmas? They did get treats and they each got a toy. We got a new laser pointer. We got one of those things that look like a fishing pole with the um, feathers on the end. And then we got this little stuffed llama which ended up being the one that Lola and Milo are both kind of loving out of all of it. <laughs> Tammy, you've been on my channel and I just want you to know I don't comment much, but I... Oh, thank you, Tammy. That's really sweet. I'm happy for you just to watch, but if you want to comment, I absolutely love that. I am a little bit behind in my comments. I do apologize. I'm trying to catch back up. Quite honestly, I'm tired. Tomorrow is the last day of Vlogmas, and I may take a few days off. I haven't quite decided yet if that will happen, but um, I might take a few days off and just catch up, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Lola needs a friend. I know. Uh, Lucy was downstairs. I was actually just downstairs on the couch and she was laying on top of me. So I felt really bad leaving her um, to come up, not to come up and talk to you, but to come up and talk to you. She was happy snuggling. You want to see, see Bombshell, but don't think it's a theater movie. Yeah, I, I thought it was good. I think, I think I thought it was going to be something different. I think that I got Bombshell and the morning show that's playing on Apple TV. I think I got the concept sort of mixed up or I thought Bombshell was gonna be more like the morning show. So I kind of wasn't expecting the topic. I thought it was very interesting. Like I said, I just sort of am still processing it. Um, hi, Angela. Can't stay but wanted to say hi. Thank you, happy new year. Ford versus Ferrari. That one looked really good too. I also want to see, we still haven't seen Frozen 2, so I want to take Emma to see that. Hi, Jesse. How are you? Oh, Yvette, you get a rotisserie streak squeak too. <laughs> we found him. He was decapitated under the bed. <laughs> On my last live, I couldn't find him. I guess he comes apart, but he came right back together. So I need to pull the winner's name, but I don't think anybody came up with a name. Um, that I thought was cuter than my daughter right after I opened this little chicken in my nifty thrifty box a couple of weeks ago She was like his name is rotisserie <laughs> and I literally fell on the floor I was laughing so hard. So that is his name rotisserie and we found him. We were very happy Our family has had so much fun with this stupid chicken. I can't even tell you. I think it was like a dollar So funny. Well, I got it for PR, but <laughs> It was the best PR ever <laughs> Hi, Colleen. How are you? Oh, good, Nancy. I'm glad you're here. You saw, oh, you didn't love it, Nancy. You didn't love Little Women. Okay, interesting. Okay, so we have one for Little Women, one for, I gave you a squeeze of that. <laughs> Poor little Lola. I think I got her off her back. <laughs> um, one for yes and one for no with Little Women. So y'all have to let me know. I do, I think I've talked about this on my channel before. I have the AMC, um, pass where I pay like I think it's $21 a month and I can see three movies a week 
for that. Um, and then it gives me like, when I went the other day, I had $10 in reward. So it gives, I get a ton of like free popcorn and stuff. So I might go see Little Women on my own because I don't, Emma said she didn't want to see it. Um, hi, Mayor, how are you? Hello from the tundra. Thank you, Colleen. I have a bunch of new unboxings coming. I've really been taking some time over the past week and looking at new boxes. I, um, I think I have six new ones coming um, and there may be some other ones I'm still working, but there's gonna be a lot of new content for January. So I'm pretty excited about that. So I'm glad you like the unboxings because they're coming back. December, I did a lot more lifestyle just to kind of make Vlogmas feel a little more special, but the, the unboxings are definitely coming back with a vengeance. Okay, let's see. Oh, Lori, I, I gotta show your gift. It's right over here, hang on. I gotta show everybody. Um, Lori, I love your gift. Sorry, I don't like people when when people walk away from the camera, and I've done that twice tonight, so you have to forgive me. So Lori sent me a few things. This gorgeous Christmas picture, which I loved. It sat right in front of my reindeer, and then this is the cutest thing ever. It almost looks like a big dice, but it says, hello, sunshine. Oh, it's on. <laughs> Be silly. Um, it's almost like one of those magic eight balls. What else does it say? Do something awesome today. Be kind. Today I choose happy. Isn't that adorable? And then she sent me this really cute book that's one minute journals and it has a little timer. So thank you so much for that, Lori. I really did appreciate that gift. Thank you so much. It's awesome. I just think this is the cutest thing ever. I've never seen anything like that before. Okay, let's see. Hi, Allison. I did receive your card. Thank you so much. I really loved it. <sighs> You're so funny. Okay. Um, oh, I'm doing good, Jesse. Thank you. Frozen 2 has actually had a pretty deep storyline. That's what I've heard. I've heard people either love it or they hate it. So that's interesting. Emma actually got my daughter. I got her the Frozen 2 on a palette to put in her Christmas stocking because it was only like $12 at Ulta and I had some Ulta rewards so it was just a few dollars and she loves that palette. It was like a good fun surprise in her stocking. Um, hi Renee, Happy New Year. I don't have any um, boxes to open tonight. Unfortunately, I am through. I'm waiting on one more. A bunch of people have opened the Bombay and Cedar, but mine has not come. So I don't know where that one is. I think I was thinking it would be open tomorrow, but I don't have it. So <laughs> we'll see. Hi, Eurasis. Oh, you're in Puerto Rico. How fun. Are you, are you always from Puerto Rico or are you visiting? <laughs> Sorry, that was a weird question, but you know what I mean. Oh, good. I'm glad you liked the new video. It was weird because the very, the intro to the video, I watched that video through twice and I must have deleted the intro because I really, it started out saying, okay, let's get into the video. <laughs> and I said in the beginning, like, I know this video is not going to be for everyone, but it's very requested and I want to get it up before the new year in case that's somebody's um, 2020 goal. <laughs> somehow it got deleted. So I had so many comments that started out, I'm not interested in starting a YouTube channel. <laughs> and I was like, crud. <laughs> but wait, it was fine. The comments were very nice. Nobody was being rude. Um, they all said that they liked it. But I was like, where did the beginning of that video go? I don't think I've had that happen before. <laughs> Oh, you didn't like, Lisa, you didn't like Star Wars or the Mr. Rogers movie? I watched the Mr. Rogers documentary, the one that was out last year, and really liked it. But I don't, I didn't see Tom Hanks as Mr. Rogers. He, he did not appeal to me at all. So I, that was one movie. And I will see just about any movie except a scary one. But I, I didn't see the Mr. Rogers one. But I do want to see the Star Wars one. Your dog is searching for the squeak. Sorry, Melissa. <laughs> Oh, you said that before you gave me a squeak. Okay, we got an extra squeak event. <laughs> you just found it a little slow, okay. My favorite thing, that is like I, my form of self-care. My favorite thing is going in the middle of the afternoon and getting a hot dog, a popcorn, and a Coke Icy 
I know that is like heart attack city and just going into the empty movie theater because nobody's there at 1 30 or maybe two or three people are and just like escaping that's my favorite thing so that's my treat to myself that i pay for every month is that amc membership <laughs> yes i did like the one one owner rider version of of little women i have colleen tried the ellen degeneres box you should go watch i did two of them the second one that i did is interesting <laughs> I didn't like it and I like pretty much all the boxes loved the first one but the second one made me cancel and when I asked people if they wanted me to continue opening it it was like nope <laughs> I have seen that it's gotten better but that second box was so bad it I still have a bad taste in my mouth unfortunately for that box you enjoyed little women your mom and aunt were confused by the oh so if you're not familiar okay I do know the storyline that's interesting. That's good to know though. The unboxing is especially with coffee in the morning. Yeah, I'm going to try. That's one of my New Year's goals too, is to get my videos back to 7 a.m. With Christmas, it's just hard. It's just a hard time and being able to film early enough to get my video up in the mornings was just not happening in December. I struggled with that. Oh, my son had, his, had an MRI on, on December 26th and he just went back today and everything is good. He's not going to have to have surgery. He has two more weeks of rest before he can get on the ice um, or even consider getting on the ice. He's about to die to get back on the ice, but he has about two more weeks. So thank you for asking. He is doing pretty well. He, he, today, he, from now on, he doesn't have to be on crutches. So that will be great. That was hard to be on crutches, um, especially since our house is two story. His room is downstairs, but it's still, his game room is upstairs. So that made it a little hard. Okay, I think I missed some, hold on. If I missed you, I'm sorry. Okay, hi Lily, how are you? You love Frozen 2 and the soundtrack. I haven't heard any of it, of the soundtrack. Thank you, Joe. Hey, Joe. How are you? Joe C is uh, in the house, you guys. One of my favorite people to watch. If you're not watching Joe C, I highly recommend it. Joe, we need to collab at some point. Like, seriously, when you're like ready and up and about. Um, she does the best clothing unboxings and she just has a way of thinking about things that is a little bit different than I do. She always makes me think. So, thank you. I feel honored that you're in my live tonight, Joe. Thank you. Um, hi Teresa, how are you? I love my ornament, it's on my tree, so thank you so much. And my pineapple keychain is not on my keys yet. I think I took it downstairs. She got sent me the prettiest pineapple keychain that I just love, so thank you so much for that. Oh, and, and um, chocolate pretzels, like yum. <laughs> um, hi Flawed and Fabulous. Okay, I just jumped, hold on. Oh, there we go. Hi, KD. How are you? Hi, Cindy. Does anybody have a good podcast? You know, I don't really listen to many podcasts. I do want to start walking again, so maybe I will try. But if anybody knows of any good podcasts, let us know down below. Okay, that's what I thought. You live, you're from Puerto Rico, but you're from, you live in Virginia. Okay, that's what I was thinking. I've heard Puerto Rico is beautiful. How recovered is it from the hurricane from, what is it, been a year and a half, a year? Um, I would love to know how um, it's being rebuilt, how that's coming. Hi, Margo. Yeah, the second Margo, you remember, the second the second um, Ellen box was pretty bad. Although, the very next one, she had drunk elephant products in it, and I was like, darn you, Ellen! after I um, canceled. Your parents love the Mr. Roper movie. I don't know why I just can't put Tom Hanks in that role. He's always the guy from um, the Polar Express to me. <laughs> um, the Ella Box, no bueno, as my daughter says. Um, I think Life with Favor still unboxes that one. I think there's a couple people that still unbox it. I don't think it's bad. Um, I think actually it's gotten better. I just, I just, after that second box, I still have a little shell shock. <laughs> that was the only box 
because I try, you guys know I try to keep it positive. I will be funny and tell you if I don't like something, but that box just kept, in my opinion, getting worse and worse as I pulled stuff out and I was trying so hard to stay positive. <laughs> It was a struggle. It was a struggle. I remember thinking, I gotta get, I gotta, I should have just stopped the camera, but I just couldn't. Anyway. <laughs> oh, good, Obi. I'm glad that you liked the video today. Thank you. Yes, no surgery for my boy. We are very happy to hear that. We were a little worried. He said today, he said, Mom, I am so, I was so nervous when that doctor walked in, so. Um, do you need a certain number of subscribers to go live? Technically, yes, you have to have a thousand, but there are ways to get around that. I don't know what they are. If y'all know, um, let Lisa know, or Lisa, ask me in a video or message me on Instagram, that would be better if you message me on Instagram because I know several people that go live without having a thousand, they use an app or a something um, and I can find that out for you but I don't know it off the top of my head. So I, I won't remember or I will mean to remember and forget. So if you'll just tag me on Instagram, I will find that information for you if somebody doesn't have it in this live. So YouTube doesn't let you, however you can go through the app and still upload it. I, I don't know if you still get the watch time that way. I assume that you do. Y'all educate me on that one because I, I don't know. Thank you, Teresa. I'm so glad he's doing better too. Oh my gosh, you watched? Yes, some of my old videos. I actually um, have a video coming that will be reminiscent of an old video that my son is going to do with me. And then I asked Emma if she, if I got her Ipsy, she loves Ipsy, if she would do like a my daughter Ipsy versus Ipsy. And she said yes. So now she could say yes. And then when I ask her, she's like in a bad mood or being a teenager. <laughs> but I figured at some point during the year, I could probably get a video out of her. So hopefully I can get my kids in videos coming up um, in the near future. Hi, Sherilyn, how are you? Yes, let me know, Joe, or just uh, message me on Instagram. That would be great, or, or email, either one is great. Hi, Samantha, how are you? I should have put my Jeremiah shirt on tonight. That's what I should have had on. I love that shirt, thank you so much. How is he doing? Let's see. Hi, Sarah, how are you? Sarah, I was just watching your um, YouTube rewind tag. I don't, I do watch you. I don't comment a lot. I get a little, to be 100% honest, I don't comment on a lot of people's videos that I watch. I get a little shy. Um, I'm, I'm a little more reserved in person um, on camera. I can kind of come to life, but I was watching your uh, YouTube rewind and I love that tag. It was so fun. Oh, good. I'm glad you liked it. Okay, Sarah's got some um, podcasts. And Boxy Boxes still does Ellen. Okay, that's good to know. Probably does, oh, crud, what is her name? Cad's Review. She might do it too because she does a lot of the, a lot of boxes too. Hey, Steph, how are you? Oh, thank you for the thumbs up. I'm having my favorite tea. It's that Tazao um, vanilla bean and macaron. Oh, it's so good. My favorite tea. Like, I don't drink any other tea now. I bought four boxes of it. <laughs> I'm going to get sick of it before um, it runs out. Have you made your channel goals for 2020? Yes, I do have I do have channel goals for 2020. There will be a um, vision board video coming soon. I always do that every year. So you may, may see some of that on there. I think that's my son whistling. I don't know if you hear that. <laughs> I'm so glad that you're in the chat, Steph. Thanks for stopping by. I love all the newbies in here. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> one, one million subbies. 
<laughs> I just watched my daughter had like a really bad day uh, a few weeks ago and she was just like I just want to I just want to curl up on the bed and watch a movie with you and, and I was she's like I just want something stupid so we were we were thumbing through and I was like Austin Powers I forgot how like vulgar a little bit that movie could be but we were laughing so hard one million dollars anyway Let's see, no, just, not just kidding. Let's get a million subscribers, Yvette. Here's to all of us doing that. And <laughs> can't even get 10,000. We're gonna hit, we're gonna hit it, Yvette. We're gonna hit it in 2020. I have a good feeling. Okay, so Jesse says that you can go live on your laptop or desktop with under 1K directly from YouTube or use a website like stream yard and you still get the watch time thank you jesse that's awesome yvette do you know if that's how um tiffany goes live because i know tiffany's not got a thousand and she typically goes live on tuesdays does she use do you know i can't remember what she uses um oh karen you're fine you're we're only halfway through you're not late you can come in anytime i appreciate you being here I loved my card, Sherilyn. Thank you so much. It was this one. It was the plaid one, right? The green one, right there. Hold on. Yeah, hold on. Right there. <laughs> I can't tell everybody whose card there is. I will say, is she on? I don't think she's on. This one kept falling off, but I have to show you this. She has a channel. It's the Secret Life of um, Alex and Sugar. And look at this card she made. And Sherilyn made me a card too. This is all felt. And then it's got a felt border. And then um, she wrote me a little note. But I thought I, and then little snowmen are made of felt. I loved all the homemade cards. For some reason though, this one would not stay up. So it's sitting right here on my desk. That's why I have it here. But I thought that was so sweet. I just, I loved every card. I got a card. Um, where is it? I had to move things around to make them all fit, but one card has a Santa mooning me and it's hysterical. <laughs> it makes me laugh every time I see it. My kids loved seeing all the cards. I thought, I think they, they felt special for me, which I loved. Yeah, Lisa, you can still Instagram me if you have a question. Um, and if it's not Steamyard, I'll try and find out from Tiffany, or you can just message um, Tiffany at PK Mom Life just on one of her videos, and she can probably tell you how she goes live too. But I'm happy to help you if you need more information. You're wearing mine now. Oh, you're wearing your your shirt now. We're in the hospital to start round ten. Um, good. I'm so glad he's doing well. I love the shirt. I should have worn it tonight. I'll wear it next Monday. Nature is amazing. I was telling friends how amazing it was to see the vegetation recovered as well. Electricity and utility service are back. Recovery in rural areas has been slower. So your recess was giving us an update on Puerto Rico. Thank you for telling me. I really, I do often wonder about that. I feel like after the aftermath of a hurricane, you don't really hear more about it and you, you often wonder. It's okay to get emotional. It's okay. I've been emotional all day. If Do any of you guys follow Brittany Boren Leach, um, her channel, and know the story? Um, I've been crying on and off all day for her family. Um, on Christmas Day, their baby, their three-month-old baby, um, died. Well, he, she went in to check on him, and he was um, wasn't breathing so they airlifted him to the hospital and he ended up being brain dead and today um, they live in Texas he uh, they actually donated his organs and is, are saving three other babies but I can't even imagine um, what they're going through and on Christmas Day she has um, three other little boys and then a stepdaughter I just can't imagine um, hug your babies tighter tonight well, no matter how old they are Steph says, I have a 16 year old, so I get what they might do one day. <laughs> totally. <laughs> I'm 
glad I'm not a teenager. Yeah, I'm glad I'm not a teenager either. I wouldn't do that forever. Oh, Southern Mom. Hey, how are you, Nikki? <clears throat> so glad you're here. How is your time off? Are you enjoying it? Are you feeling better? Because I know you, you've been struggling with your RA. I hope that you're um, relaxing and having fun with Christopher. I love that you um, listen to his request. You're so such a good mom and you're such a good YouTuber. You really are. Um, hold on, I lost, I went to the bottom. I know, I know with Brittany, I'm, yes, it's awful. I can't even imagine. My heart is breaking for her. She said at 11 o'clock, which was 12 o'clock my time, they would wheel him down. And I guess all, all the doctors and nurses and staff line up and they call it the hero walk as they walked the baby to surgery to donate his organs. And I just kept thinking like, how do you do that? And she said that she rode in the gurney with him to the operating room. I just can't even imagine. Um, yes, I totally understand needing a break. It's it's a lot, and it's a lot. And you're right. We women at Christmas, we pretty much do it all. <laughs> My husband cracks me up. I can't say this very loud. But he lets me do all the shopping. But then on Christmas Eve, he's not like a gift-buying person. He goes out, and he buys like the kids like random things. <laughs> He buys the kids like random things. It's almost like he realizes maybe I don't have any like hand in these presents So I have to buy something he came in clutch this year though I have to say but it always makes me laugh I just know that I can't count on anything on him. He's gonna be gone all of Christmas Eve. And it's gonna be okay So did everybody have a nice Christmas Quiet Christmas, crazy Christmas. Hi Esther, how are you doing? I'm glad you're here. Tomorrow I have to start taking my Christmas decor down and I'm a little bit bummed about it. I don't actually mind the decor, but I have tons of lights. And I this little tree right here, this pencil tree, I sleep with the lights on it every night so like my room has this nice glow to it at night I'm gonna miss that and I have like lights everywhere like lighted garland and I even have a picture that has lights in it I don't know I just love the little soft glow of lights as you walk through the house that's probably one of my favorite parts of Christmas are the lights One day, your dad bought vinyl cases to hold index cards. I will say, I did that um, video on Christmas Eve saying that like presents weren't coming in and blah, blah, blah. And my husband called me and he's like, hey, I'm at um, Best Buy and they have mini fridges. Now my, ha my, my son kind of said in passing as a joke, I want a mini fridge in my room. He was like, it's, real, it's under $100. He's like, should I buy it? And I was like, oh my gosh, he will flip out on Christmas morning because his big Santa present still hasn't been shipped yet. Um, it doesn't ship out till at least January the 7th. Now, if you try to buy it, it's not going to be shipped till March. Um, but, and he knew that going in, but I was, I just felt bummed for him that it wasn't going to be there. And so it was a total surprise. We went to the store and like stocked it with like soda and Gatorade and snacks. And he was like, that was the best Christmas ever. So I will never complain going forward about my husband shopping on the 24th because he definitely came in clutch. Mine was good, Jesse. Thank you. Oh, that's sweet, Catherine. Hi, Natasha. Yours was lovely. Oh, congratulations. That's amazing. I love it. I bet your family was so excited. You took everything down today. I usually leave everything up to New Year's, but I think I'm gonna start like slowly taking stuff down tomorrow. It takes a few days um, to get it all done. I'm a, I'm a slow D Christmaser. <laughs> I like mine to go up, to to stay up till the New Year. I really do. Um, but I think I'm gonna 
like wrangle my family in and, and try and get it all done. Maybe before getting to the movies tomorrow. When you're my brother and my sister went out on Christmas Eve night and brought stocking stuffers for my mom and dad from the convenience store. They were the only places that were open. Oh my gosh, I bet the gifts were hysterical. That's so funny. I love it. Hi, Bonnie. How are you? Oh, I'm so, I'm so happy for you. That's amazing. Am I saying your name right? Is it Nata Natasha? Tell me if I'm saying that wrong. I love the spelling of it, but I, it has me worried that I'm not saying it right. I know, I do like the lights. Yay, Brandy made it to life. Brandy, your um, Happy Mail's going out tomorrow. I just packed it up today. Tiffany, I don't have any idea if you read a poem. I don't I don't know the answer to that. I'm sorry. If anybody has an answer to Tiffany's question, um, I guess you would have to have the poem copyrighted. I would think the poem would need to be copyrighted itself. And then you would give yourself credit in the description. That's what I'm wondering. I don't know. I, I don't know if that's true or not. That would be my guess, but I could be totally wrong. Oh, I know. I'm going to be sad. Okay, thank you. Is it Natasha? <clears throat> Oh, okay, yeah, Tiffany, I don't know. That's a good question. I would say if you look it, if you look it up, you probably will find it on YouTube. I feel like they're literally, when I ever go to research something, either Google or YouTube always <laughs> seems to have the answer. So definitely check that out. Um, I don't know. Good question though. Are there any boxes, interesting boxes that you've seen lately? Somebody was telling me about, and if you're on here, please, I can't remember who it was. So if you're on here, I apologize if I'm not giving you credit. Somebody asked me um, today about home decor boxes. I've done Deco Crated before. Probably won't have that one back on my channel. Um, but I had a couple of other ones. Um, so is that something you'd want to see? Oh, thanks, Nikki. I'm glad you liked it. I had a lot of um, requests for that one. Everybody gets it wrong. <laughs> yeah, it is pricey to copyright your work. Yeah, I don't know. I would think that would be what you'd have to do though. You wanna hear about my hot chocolate bar? I did, my, I put up my hot chocolate bar on Instagram, but I think it might've been my Instagram stories this year. I just did it on a tiered tray. And it's got Christmas mugs on the bottom. And then I did a jar with marshmallows, a jar with Andy's candies, a jar with the hot chocolate. I got um, some little, like a little string of battery operated lights that were little stars. And so I wrapped that around. There's a little sign that says something about hot chocolate. Um, and I, it's all done in red and white. I'll try and... Um, it's kind of too late to put it on Instagram. Um, maybe as I'm taking it down tomorrow, I'll try to remember to put it on my stories. Actually, it will that that part will stay up through the winter. I probably will just change it so it's not so Christmassy looking. Um, it probably can stay red and white, but I'll just change the mugs to different mugs that aren't so Christmassy. You love my Dollar Tree house. Thank you. Hi, Kay. How are you? I actually like going to the Dollar Tree. I think it's fun and I'm always surprised when people, when the, those videos do so well. Um, but I like watching them too. So I, I don't know why I'm surprised. I follow several people that just do Dollar Tree hauls. I find them fascinating. Um, I think if you don't buy things that are junk, like there's stuff at the Dollar Tree, like my jars from my hot chocolate bar, some of those came from the Dollar Tree. Um, 
I think you can find good things if, as long as you're not buying junk that's gonna clutter up your house. I think that's that's the trick is finding the like needle in a haystack type of stuff. But I do love the Dollar Tree. Okay, you guys, let's talk about let's talk about what's on TV. So I put this on my Instagram stories the other day. I watched. Have you guys watched a Virgin River on Netflix? So good. I binge watched. I would have binge watched it all in one night, but at like 12:30 the other night, I had one more episode, and my husband got in the bed and turned off the lights, and I was like, okay, that's my clue. <laughs> that he's ready to go to bed um so i had to watch it the next day and then um i watched this movie on netflix called falling in i and in love that one was really cute it was kind of cheesy but really cute and now i just started watching on apple tv the i'm behind the morning show i only watched one episode and i'm dying to go back and watch the rest of it so if any of you guys seen any of that let me know <laughs> <laughs> Dollar Tree has made a lot of money off you. There is some good stuff. And I have two weird Dollar Trees. I have one that's really big that's always really junky, but there's always employees stocking it. I just think it's really busy. And then there's one that's like brand new and bright, but it's definitely smaller and it has good stuff. So between the two of them, I usually, when I do a Dollar Tree, I will go to both of them. Hey, Tracy, how are you? You're on episode three of Virgin River. Do you like it? You loved fall, Falling in Love. I love that one too. It was such a cute movie. Yes, the doctor from Heart of Dixie that was the blonde, now I can't remember, the blonde girl's dad. He's the doctor on Virgin River and I love, I love him. He kind of plays the same character. You will love it. If you liked Heart of Dixie, yes, you will definitely love Virgin River. Um, oh, hey, she crafty. Hey, Tracy, there's two Tracys coming on at the same time thanks for coming in oh I haven't watched Jack Ryan I wondered about that one you like it okay I'm gonna try that one next I have to get through the morning show though um oh no oh good there's lots of seasons to that one because Virgin River only had one season and I was like bummed but it did say at the end of the last episode it has been picked up for renewal so there'll be more um i need a show to binge watch before school yeah i think that you would like virgin river <laughs> tracy says hi tracy <laughs> you love the morning show yeah i was like totally wanting to watch a second one and i didn't have time hi sylvia When people do regular Dollar Tree hauls, it makes me nervous. Yeah, I try not to buy, I try to only buy consumable things from the Dollar Tree. I don't buy knickknacks or like junky, junky stuff. But like that Christmas peppermint popcorn that I found, that stuff was so good. Or like I said, jars or my bowls, my just everyday cereal bowls that the kids use that I don't care if they break, they last forever. There's good stuff at the Dollar Tree. You just have to know where to look. But there is, sometimes I watch Dollar Tree hauls and I'm like, you just bought that to make a video. What you are not going to you are not going to carry that. <laughs> um yes, it, the Cindy the the books are by Rob, the series is based on the books by Robin Carr. Yes. Oh, you're watching Jack Ryan. Okay, thank you guys. I have to go watch that one. Yes, it is. It is easy to fill your house with junk. I totally agree. So I try not to do that when I do do hauls. I try to do like consumable things. Their dishes are really good. I'm bummed because a couple of years ago they had these white dishes with silver and they had snowflakes all over them and they were gone. And it, do you guys watch the channel Do It On A Dime? She brings them out every year and I'm like, darn it, I miss those dishes. They're so cute for winter, but they haven't brought them back out. I am trying to declutter quite a lot. I've been going room through at room by room and closet by closet. Oh, I didn't try the skinny pop one. That's funny. 
the cookie popcorn from Walmart? No, but now I want it. <laughs> what kind of cookie is it? Like chocolate chip cookie or? My husband was so bad. He brought home two of the like peppermint chocolate pr covered pretzels. And then my favorite M&Ms. As a matter of fact, I need to start looking for them because they'll be gone are the white chocolate peppermint M&Ms. He bought two of those. I went through two boxes of those chocolate covered cherries, the cello ones. Like I'm like, no more sugar, <laughs> no more sugar. <laughs> I gotta cut it off. <laughs> That's so funny. Don't get your tinsel in a tangle. Oh, Jack Reacher. Jack Reacher's good. Isn't he the one that um, Tom Hanks, Tom, Tom Cruise plays? Isn't that Jack Reacher? Yeah. Um, ooh, smells like vanilla sugar cookies baking. I baked two things of cookies, didn't get to the third one, and my kids like hoovered them. <laughs> so mad like one day there was like a whole bag of them and the next day they were gone so I need to make the third batch of cookies this week before everybody goes back to school hi Laura how are you hi Kristen how are you your hubby brought you those M&Ms those M&Ms are good even if you don't like white chocolate they're white chocolate peppermint M&Ms you're welcome if you try them you, you will thank me, but you will also hate me because you can't, like I didn't even, I haven't even opened the second bag he bought me because when I opened the first bag, I couldn't stop eating them. I couldn't stop eating them, they're so good. Oh, the ranch, yes, I've watched all the ranch. I liked that one. I don't like all the language in that one, but that's just me being prudish. Hi, okay, Tiffany, you're here. We have a question for you. I don't know if Tea Time with Lisa's still here. Tiffany? What do you use to go live? Do you use, now I can't remember the software. What do you use to go live? Can you let us know? Cause we have a question. <laughs> so we were like, I was like, go ask Tiffany. Oh, 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 I will stuff. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that happened. That happened to my dad too. And, and it was like his little buddy. I'm so sorry. You love the ranch. Um, of course I can tell you, oh, stream labs. I don't know if Lisa's still on here, but Lisa, if you are, she's a stream labs. You made cookie dough truffles. Those sound amazing. I found a recipe for raspberry almond shortbread cookies. And they look like a thumbprint with the jam in the middle. They look so good. And I love anything almond flavored. So that's what I need to make. Cause I like the like seedless raspberry jam. And the other thing that I didn't make this Christmas, I always make this olive dip. If you don't like olives, it's gonna sound disgusting to you, but it has like, it's like cream cheese. I made it on my channel last year or two years ago um, in a like appetizers video. I love that stuff so much. So I'm gonna have to make that too. Is there anything you guys didn't make for Christmas that you usually have? I lost my kids' trust with the peppermint <laughs> They are so good. Hi, Heather, how are you? Y'all are so funny. <laughs> oh, good, I'm so glad, Tiffany. Will you be live tomorrow? I don't have sewing circle, so. <laughs> he, Tiffany goes live on Tuesday nights, but it's usually the time that I am leaving sewing circle and picking up my daughter, and then by the time I get home, she's almost gone or I've missed her. So if you're going live tomorrow, I will be there. I can't remember how to make the olive dip. Um, I'll try and send you the recipe. I gotta find it. Um, but I was thinking about, I thought about it in the grocery store on like December 23rd and I couldn't remember all the ingredients. So I didn't get it. But if you like olives oh, and cream cheese, oh, it's so good. <laughs> I'll send you the recipe. You didn't make caramel, caramel. Did you say caramel or caramel? I say caramel, but I know a lot of people say caramel. 
You're watching Abominable. <laughs> I love it. You have kids. I totally understand. You made only one and you still gained weight. <laughs> I only made chocolate chip and I don't make a lot of cookies because my husband's diabetic and he has a sweet tooth. And so I just feel like it's mean to like taunt him. <laughs> But at Christmas, I was like, the kids are getting cookies. So I made um, chocolate chip, which I don't like. And then I'm just like the Toll House ones. And then I made um, chocolate, white chocolate chip, which are like one of my favorites. They're so good. You don't think, oh, since it'll be New Year's Eve, that makes sense. You love olives. Tracy, do you love cream cheese? This dip is good. <gasps> Sausage balls. I love sausage balls. Now I want to make those. Do you make them? Do you eat them as an appetizer? I make them and then freeze them and then we eat them for breakfast. Of course, Yvette. Of course you can. Hi, Donna. How are you? Hi, Elizabeth. How are you doing? I love everybody jumping on. Your grandma made an olive dip that none of us got the recipe when she died. I found the recipe last year. It was pretty close and made it again yesterday. It was, this one came from Southern Living um, because my mom just printed it for me uh, out of the magazine. It is so good. Like I, I, I stick my whole face in it and just eat it and nobody else will eat it. It's awful because I'm eating all that cream cheese, but I just cannot stop eating it. So I will try and remember <laughs> to find the recipe it has a, like a tiny bit of lemon juice cream cheese i think it's got some chopped black olives chopped green olives i love green olives um oh almond butter balls that sounds good oh yvette gets from her grocery store these um coffee cake muffins do you guys have those in your grocery store i've never heard of coffee cake muffins before Yvette, when I come, because I just invited myself today, you have to get me some coffee <laughs> muffins. Okay, Tracy, I'll send you the recipe. I got to go find it. That'll be good for me because then I'll pull the recipe out and remember to tell my husband to get the ingredients. You didn't make sausage balls either. I love them. I'm good, Elizabeth. Thank you. We got news today that my son doesn't have to have surgery, so that was good. Lisa, there you are. Good. I'm glad you saw um, Tiffany's post. You made your first banana bread for Christmas. I was nervous. You know what? I've never made banana bread. I haven't. So I'm glad yours turned out well. Love cream cheese. Yeah, cream cheese is the best. And you guys, thank you so much about the Bantam Bagel tip. When I did that video on like the 24th or the 23rd, whatever I did that when I was in my car, all of you were like, you can buy Bantam Bagels at Kroger's and Target. I had no clue. I had no clue. I thought you had to go to the Bantam Bagels website. Where have I the, that knowledge been my whole life? <laughs> I'm a little bit afraid to buy them because they're my weakness. I'll eat like all of them in one sitting, but I'm super excited to know that. Christmas crack. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> your, your youngest was eating sausage balls. I love sausage balls. I totally do. I do that too. I make a huge, like a triple batch of them and then just freeze them and I pull them out like a little bit at a time. My kids don't love them. I don't know why. My kids are weird. Like they're just weird. I don't know where they came from. If they didn't look like me or my husband, I would wonder. Um, but they, they like them okay, but it's not like their favorite. I would eat sausage balls breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, I just shot, I just went down to the bottom. So that's going live. If you guys are quilters, she's doing a giveaway for a, um, a quilt kit, I think. So um, go check that out. It, maybe it doesn't have black olives. I think it might though. I don't know, Tiffany. Tiffany and Tracy, I'll send it to you. I do get the olive tamponade from Trader Joe's. I love that. I put it on my sandwiches.
Oh, Tracy, oh no. <laughs> You're gonna have a lot of brushes. That's okay, brushes are good. Hey, so girly, how are you? I looked at that more, th I did order some mystery boxes, but I didn't get that one. Um, but I did look at it. I, 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 my budget sort of out of money. <laughs> I ordered a bunch. Like I said, there's like six new things coming, at least six, probably more. Um, and my budget was down to like with the mystery boxes, down, down further. And I try and stick to a certain budget, so I had to, I had to cut myself off. Oh, I haven't had the buffalo chicken dip from Trader Joe's. I've had it from Publix and I really like it, but I didn't. I haven't been in Trader Joe's forever. I really feel like a Trader Joe's haul will be on my channel soon because I haven't been for a while hey kitty how are you hope you're doing well did you have a nice Christmas oh she crafty Tracy I saw your um Julia necklace with the Jack Skellington that was so cool it's totally you <laughs> I loved it oh I went down to the bottom hold on Okay, okay. It sounds strange, but you put down a layer of saltines, heat brown sugar and butter, and pour over them, and then chocolate. Oh, yes. That stuff is good, and you don't even realize that it's crackers. Yes. I've had that before. Christmas crack. Yes. You make the cream cheese sausage balls? You win. I've never heard of those. Do you bake them in the oven? Oh, Bren. That sounds amazing. <laughs> My arteries have hardened two numbers just by this live. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's a deal. So, so girly. She said she entered an events giveaway and if she wins, she's going to teach me how to quilt. I actually have a lady at my sewing circle. Y'all, I'm such an old lady. I go to sewing circle on Tuesdays and she's like, I'll teach you to quilt. I'm not there yet. I'm not like ready yet, but I think it'll happen. It'll happen. I'm afraid to go down the dark to the dark side because I feel like, like I love scrapbook paper. I have so much scrapbook paper and I feel like I would be that way with, with fabric. I would want it all. Oh, you don't have a Trader Joe's near you? I have one very close, but my husband does all the grocery shopping and he doesn't usually shop at Trader Joe's, but I went in before Christmas and picked up a few things and I was like, oh, I miss Trader Joe's. So I need to go and see what's new, I guess, for spring. I miss the good season. I miss fall and Christmas with Trader Joe's. Oh, Julie. <laughs> I know, you're the... The lady who's at Sewing Circle is Julie. <laughs> is so girly. <laughs> I knew that, Julie. I always forget because I, <laughs> I feel like an idiot. <laughs> yes, Julie keeps saying that she's going to teach me how to quilt. So, yeah, let's rig it, Yvette. So, Julie wins. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm sorry, Julie. You used to be the, is it, was it band fam? And so I can't get the so girly. <laughs> I can't get that in my head. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Please still love me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, it sounds easier than cross stitch. Yeah, I didn't pick the easiest cross stitch to do. I did it. But Julie, Yvette sent me, okay guys, if you're not a sewer, just hang on for a minute. Julie sent me no, Yvette sent me um, an email today. Thank you. I haven't responded to you, um, Yvette, that had like 100 best cross stitch alongs or something. I, ha I haven't like dug into it, but I was like, oh, this looks really good. <laughs> Did you just say that you're getting old? Well, when you think of sewing circle, you do think a lot of old, a lot of old ladies. It is a funny little sewing circle, isn't it, Julie? It's like a, an eclectic little group and word just spread um, at a quilt shop. And um, so it's just a, an eclectic group of ladies and it keeps getting bigger, but it's so fun. Like I just can see like the prairie ladies getting together and doing their sew along in their circle. And I just love it because everybody's telling their stories and you're just eating and you're, um, sewing. I don't know. There's just something about it I just love on Tuesday nights. 
Oh, <laughs> I, I would like to learn to crochet too. I want to know all the things, but I don't have all the time. So, <laughs> you no worries. You're going to change your handle again just to mess with me. <laughs> Oh, you said you're starting a f spending freeze on the first. Good for you, Heather. I always think that I'm going to do that, but then I feel like my whole channel is <laughs> about spending. <laughs> I do make more than I spend. I only spend 20% of my channel, but I feel like <laughs> it doesn't really translate for me to do like a spending freeze. I don't know. Anyway, I could do it in my personal life, right? Um, oh, you've only been a Trader Joe's once and you're 15. Oh, wow. Trader Joe's aren't, they are coming to Florida, but they're not like super prevalent because my, my parents live in Florida. Well, that's where I'm from. And um, I know there's not a lot there. I always put stuff in my mom's Christmas stocking from Trader Joe's. I did go in there and pick up a couple of things. You tried cross stitch once and it did not go well. <laughs> Good night, Judy. Thanks for stopping in. I'm glad you're here. Oh, okay, okay. You're thinking about getting Petite Avenue. Oh, I just saw that one for short girls. I just saw a video unboxing of that, but now I can't remember who did it. Did anybody see an unboxing of Petite Avenue? Vicky? Mm. Now I can't remember who did it. Did anybody see the video of Petite Avenue? I know somebody, I just saw it go up either today or yesterday. Somebody that I'm following. Oh, I want to see it. I can't wait to see it, Julie. Hey, Jan. How are you? I'm so glad you're here. I don't think it was Kayla. No, because I, I don't think it was Vicky. I don't, I'm pretty sure it wasn't Kayla. I think it it might have been Shauna Carmack because I do follow her. Kate, Katie, hi. It might have been it. That might have might have been who it was. But she's I, that might have been her. I can't remember. Maybe that that might be right. It, it's Shauna. Okay, good. Yes, I'm good, Jan. Thank you. Just sitting here and enjoying my tea. Okay, so I am gonna do an announcement. So the people on my live are gonna hear it first. This may not excite you, and it may excite you, but I am going to start a book club. I've done book club um, once before on my channel, and you guys liked it. So I'm trying to figure out, number one, the book. I want to do a different kind of book every month, and I need to find a way um, that we can talk about it, whether it's YouTube Lives or Instagram Lives or Facebook Lives um, or something. So if you have any ideas... <laughs> I'm glad you like it, Catherine. If you have any ideas of how we can structure it, let me know. I do really want to read more in 2020. And I've had a lot of people ask me since, I, I think it was last summer, not even this past summer, but the summer before, um, where I did one. And I, I really enjoyed it. Um, so I want to bring that back. And so I just think it will be fun. You, okay, you guys like that idea. Okay, if you have any suggestions, I would like the first one, honestly, because I'm just tired right now and coming out of Vlogmas. Um, I only read books with pictures. <laughs> Maybe a children's book will be one month. <laughs> Um, I want to start out with an easy one, like an easy breezy one. Um, we can read some like nonfiction and some other ones later, but I want to start out with like a really easy breezy one. So if anybody has a good idea, let me know. Um, and, and how we should structure it. I know a lot of people don't have Instagram, so I was thinking maybe, um, going live on Facebook to talk about it and then maybe doing a YouTube live at the end, but maybe doing like checkups like every other week or something to see how everybody's doing and their thoughts. Like we could do like chapters one through 10 or I don't really know. I'm still kind of working through it in my mind, but it seems like there are people. Oh, good. I know Kristen. Yeah. I need to look at yours because I saw your video go up today. That was your, was it your top 10? 
books of 2019 or it was just your top books i want to i want to read that because i was like looking in the thumbnail and there was one that i was like i want to read that one anyway um so if you have any ideas <laughs> dick and jane <laughs> i dare you to do a how-to book well, we could totally do a how-to book it doesn't mean i have to how-to it i just have to read it right Okay, good. It looks like that there's just based on the few the few people that are in here, well, I have 74, that there is some interest in that. So let me know if you have a way that we can structure it um, and I will announce that next week. I'll try and nail down a book about Rita's quilt. I did it, Franti. I'll have to, I'll look at that one. You're in for book club. Okay. Daisy Jones and the Six. Okay. The Persian Pickle Club. I haven't heard that one. I actually was just going to go, to be honest with you, I was just going to run in Barnes and & Noble and just like now that it's not so busy and just be like, that's not even, that's not even good grammar. And just ask one of the salespeople like, what is the hot book for January? I went, I, I Googled top books of January 2020 and there were so many, um, but there wasn't anything that made me like go, that's the book. So I'll go ahead and look, and maybe I'll just pick the first one, and then we can, um, um, hey, Yvette, I was just announcing that I'm going to be doing book club on my channel. So I will announce that next week, um, maybe, yeah, maybe this week. I don't know. I have to decide. I have to get all the details, but would you guys want to do like a, um, like a midway checkpoint where we don't do it on YouTube, but maybe we do it on a Facebook it's just hard because I know people work. I, that makes it hard, but I would like to maybe have a discussion halfway through the book and then maybe we would do a full discussion on a live on YouTube. Let me know. Genuinely, I totally gravitate toward just easy breezy book reads, but I really thought for this year, if we were gonna carry it through the year, that it would be a different maybe genre of book every month maybe it would be a beach read in the summer maybe it would be a romance maybe it would be a mystery maybe it would be a historical something maybe it would be a nonfiction. i don't know i don't really know that's just kind of where my head is going um but i just thought it would be fun <clears throat> oh the crawdads did you get that one pk or tiffany a lot of people read that one that's an older one so i don't know that we would do that one um Oh, Jennifer, it was Jennifer that did the Petite Avenue. That's who I saw. But I also think I did see Shauna do it. But Jennifer, that's who I saw do it. Good night. Autobiographies, yes. Like I would just wanted to do something different. <laughs> the dictionary, how about a dictionary? <laughs> I hate grammar and spelling. Obviously, I have Christy vocabulary, so I need it too. <laughs> Goodreads has book forums. Yeah, I was gonna look for something that had maybe discussion questions too. I did look on book on Goodreads very quickly. I like perused this this afternoon. I looked, like I said, I just Googled like top. 20 or top books of January 2020 and a bunch came up a bunch were coming out this month um, So anyway, okay, it looks like I have enough interest Let me kind of nail down what I'm thinking in my head and we'll go from there. Maybe we'll do it like every other month I think every month might be a little a little I don't know I have let me think about it in my head But it looks like there's enough interest. I just think it's fun when we get together and chit chat you guys make me laugh and smile And I do really feel like as women these days We are so busy and we need community and our community can be just our little online sessions um, But I really leave lives just feeling great and I don't know a little bit lighter And so I thought that would be a fun way to sort of do that all right, let's see what time it is. I kicked my husband out of the bedroom <laughs> so that I could do this live. So, you know, maybe you'll actually read a book. That's why I'm thinking maybe we won't do it every month. Maybe we'll do it every other month or maybe once a quarter. I don't know. See, everything's going in my head. <laughs> we'll see. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go 
tell my husband that he can have the bed back and watch TV. We don't have, we're not, we are TV watchers, but we don't have, our TV downstairs is really small. Um, oh, we have a big TV in our bedroom, and then we have one in the game room. Um, so he's downstairs watching a little TV. Not that I feel bad for him, but I do kind of feel bad that I kicked him out. <laughs> he wasn't sad about it. He didn't mind. <laughs> Oh, yes, I remember those days where my kids would read. I love that. I, I, my kids will read, but I have to get them, I have to get them books. There's a little really cute book, used bookstore up the way from our house, but they also carry new books. And there's a lady in there that knows, like, I can take my son in there. He's, both of my kids are super quirky readers. They don't like, like, what everybody else likes. It seems like, like, I don't know and she can always like nail down my son and if I can find a series to get him hooked on he'll read the whole thing so I really probably need to take him there this week and see if we can get um, some books for him Anne of Green Gables that's the best that's the best book series ever all right you guys I'm gonna go let me think about book club um i'm glad that you guys are interested i know it's not going to be for everyone if it's not for you i'm not offended at all but i thought it would maybe attract some different people to the channel i thought it would just be something different and fun so i will try and announce that either at the end of the week or beginning of next week and get it all set up so everybody can get the book and start reading all right you guys i will see you soon i love you all thanks for stopping by i really do appreciate it rotisserie says bye <laughs> Oh, Lola, sorry. I scare that poor cat every time. All right, you guys, bye-bye.